Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the Brian's Genetic IV or Genetic 4 Blocker Review. Um, so I've had this since January and I've used it alongside the cat matching catching glove and matching pads. Um, so I'll talk, be talking about this and just all about it. Now a lot of people say a blocker is a blocker and they don't really have any comments or criticisms between them and they just wear whatever they are. I don't find that to be true at all. I'm very particular with blockers. Um, I like how they play. Pucks bounce off them and stuff like that. So uh, I'm pretty picky in that sense. Also, I reviewed the Optic blocker and I didn't like it at all. Um, so this one has kind of a gap to fill compared to the Optic, so we'll see how that does. With that said, my favorite blocker is basically the Supreme 1S. Uh, the 2S Pro is pretty good as well. Um, and then as well, I have a 2X Pro I really like and a 1X I really like. So basically the reason being, because the boards are really stiff on them, and they have big rebounds and offer up big rebounds and the sidewalls are very stiff as well. Um, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. Now this blocker, first off, the base of it isn't that hard and uh, rebounds don't come off this that hot. Kind of a standard blocker, it's similar to CCMs I've used um, and like the Paso I've used, pretty similar to that. The board is pretty uh, firm, so as you can see with that. Um, some of the lower end blockers, you can you can bend them like this, and that's a pretty big concern when a blocker can be bent like that by your hands. What will puck do? Um, Vaughn's Pro Line, so not the Pro Carbon, but the step down, you can kind of bend the board like this, and that's pretty um, not that great, in my opinion, uh, based on a, a, for durability and like actual how the board lasts. It should be stiffer than that. Some people get plastic put in the face of these boards to get them more, to have more rebounds. I tried to go pretty stock with this set. So I didn't put plastic in here, just the standard. I think there's just foam, but Brian's will customize them a bit uh, to try to meet your needs and meet your likes for that. So I did nothing special on this board, this glove. I did everything stock. Um, so first of all, like I said, the rebounds aren't that lively. Uh, the balance is pretty good. No issues with it at all. The fingers, hopefully this will kind of show up. The fingers don't come past the board. So it's kind of a mid to high blocker board position. I'd say mid. Um, sometimes it, like the fingers do go down to the tips of the board. So this one's kind of a mid in that sense. Um, the finger protection was pretty good. So right here, you can see it kind of closes off pretty nicely there. Sometimes there's a flap here. A lot of the bowers have a flap, kind of like this one where it has this flap here. The brines does not but I've never had issues with pucks ramping and feeling any shots or pain there. And I have had shots all over here. Um, one nice thing that, I don't know if Brian's really advertised or not, but there is padding on the fingertip right here. So it kind of stops right where this uh, elastic is and it kind of wraps around here and goes down to the inside. So that's all padded there, which is a really nice touch and really nice feature. I know um, CCM does that uh, with D3O. Um, I thought Bauer kind of pads the back of their hands, but not, I don't know if that tip, I can't remember if that tip is on the 2X, um, but it's a nice little feature and it uh, could be contributing why I have no issues with just this piece and not another one because that padding there kind of adds a little extra layer of protection, which is really nice. Um, the thumb is pretty solid, had no issues with it. Obviously it doesn't like, it's a, just kind of a pretty easy floating one, but I had no issues with it at all. Fairly comfortable, seems protective enough. Um, it doesn't have, it has nylon here instead of Gen Pro for wear. I, I wish they had Gen Pro, but at the same time, the Gen Pro on this stick has caused some grip sticks to not slide properly. Um, so I can kind of see why companies might not want to do that anymore. Um, so continuing on to the palm and everything, um, the finger protection is pretty good when closed as well. Brian's does a pretty good job of allowing this to follow with your hand, uh, and kind of wrap your fingers. Usually, sometimes this is a multi-level or multi-layer design. I've seen up to three. This one's only two, so it doesn't move quite as much, but the difference isn't like astronomical and I've had no issues with these fingers at all. I do tend to get pucks under the blocker when I go to punch, like not punch, but when you make try to make a save and it misses just under there, you sometimes get your fingers on it. Again, no issues at all with this. So that is great in that sense. Um, the palm itself is made of kind of a normal gray Nash. You have your mesh gussets then you have your sure grip material here. Um, I like where the sure grip was added for a little bit extra grip. I find standard um, Nash type materials when wet kind of loses a grip where sure grip does hold a little bit better for that. So I do like that all throughout the palm. The palms on these gloves don't feel any like 
anything special. They don't feel really, really comfortable or really soft. They just feel like they're good. Um, they're not amazing, but they're, they're solid. Um, so the one thing I did remove on this glove from stock was the actual, I got rid of the boa system. Now I always felt the boa, I could feel it, like the, the actual lines and kind of connectors of the boa whenever I tightened it. And I also felt that I could never get the boa system snug enough so it didn't feel like it could fall off my hand, but also, um, tight enough, or sorry, loose enough so I could pull it off my hand really easy. With the normal Velcro, I can do that pretty easy. So this, my hand's in there, everything's fine. Uh, it doesn't really fall off unless I need to take it off and then it's off. So really easy to take this on and off with that. So that's why I'm a fan of that design over um, the Velcro, or sorry, the BOA. They have this interesting mesh grating that kind of shows up on the genetic system. I'm not sure why it's there, but it's interesting. I find Brian's ha does a lot of things where they could kind of remove features to make it less luxurious and kind of like feature and have less features, but also lighter weight. This is kind of one of those examples, even back here, this doesn't need to be gem pro all the way through. Um, that can be just normal nylon, same with here, but they did it and it is a little bit heavier. It's a little bit more uh, premium feeling. So I'm a big fan of that. They do have like their standard pillow back here, just as, again, standard Nash, comfortable, never felt any shots. Everything was pretty quality with that. Um, overall, this blocker is a pretty good blocker. Um, the sideboard for me is still not stiff enough, so it's still pretty flexible, but it's definitely stiffer than what the Optic offered, so I'm happy with that, but it still kind of flexes in there. Again, when I, I block a lot with this, because I use kind of my blocker kind of like this to cover that hole. Um, so when I do, I want that to be stiff and with it kind of being a bit softer pucks, I believe can ramp in off that and squeak through. Um, but again, personal preference, I like all this to be as hard as possible. One thing I did notice of this is, so this part is kind of a little dented. I'm not sure if you can really see that or if it shows up, but I can see it when I'm looking at it. Um, and maybe overhead will kind of do it. You hopefully can see that there's a little dent right here here and it's kind of on the face as well so if you really like feel your hand um, it dents downwards right there so like right here and kind of flat dented and it kind of comes out a bit and that dent area you can like on the board feels right here too so a puck really hit here hard and dented this area um, it will happen with gear gear is meant to be used it's a little concerning, but nothing I'd be too, too worried about. Uh, blocker still does its job. It's not falling apart or anything like that. Um, so it is kind of what it is. Now, I um, one thing that is kind of disappointing is the previous genetic. I think it was a three, and I know it was a Brian's Pro Series, uh, or sorry, Heritage. Had a thicker piece here, so it was thicker foams. And this kind of sidewall was a bit thicker. I'm not sure if it went into the top here or if it was down on the bottom. You can see Bowers goes all the way to the top. Um, but regardless, this was thicker and stayed out a little firmer. So this like all the way through. I prefer that design because I just like, again, I like that being a little stiffer on the sidewall. Um, but overall, I'm fairly satisfied with this blocker. I, I don't really, like I don't have a hard time saying, yeah, I just get the whole set, you're fine. I know a lot of people like matching things. I'm much more satisfied with this blocker than the optic one where I couldn't stand the optic one. Um, for me, I will use this blocker whenever I'm not playing like serious, um, important games. Um, and I, I kind of go back and forth between equipment quite a bit, but for all the playoffs, I use this one because I needed my rebounds to be out a little bit further. I need to make sure everything was playing the exact way I wanted to. So I go with the gear I'm most comfortable with. I, for that was this 1S blocker, because I know rebounds will go out a little bit further. Um, but besides that, like I said, I'm pretty happy with it, just not my favorite and not my go-to. I definitely recommend, like in my dream set, it wouldn't be one of these blockers. It would be probably a 2X Pro now, or maybe a, a 2S with a 1S Palm. Um, but this is definitely an okay alternative. And if you're looking for the whole set, I would say go for it. I just, I think there's better alternatives if you're just buying a blocker itself. Um, but if you want that whole matching thing, wanting to go the whole route, this isn't a bad option at all. So definitely check it out. Um, I would definitely recommend if you're ordering optics to order this blocker instead of the optic blocker, because I think you'll be much happier with it. I certainly was. And most people I show 
Uh, this one compared to the Optic, I'm much happier with this one. So hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like it, like the video, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links are in the description. If you have any questions or comments about this blocker, leave them below. Um, in the description will be a video of the catching glove and the pads of this, as well as at the end of the video. So make sure you check those out as well. And finally, if you do ever buy a piece of equipment because of one of my videos, please reach out to manufacturers and let them know via social media or email. Helps me get on their radar so I can get more gear, so I can do reviews and talk about stuff like this. So again, thank you very much for watching and take it easy. Thank you.